Well, we start this morning with Peng Shui, the tennis player who became a global news story last year. This was following her apparent disappearance after making accusations of sexual assault against a former senior member of the Chinese government. The social media movement to verify her safety had threatened to escalate into a diplomatic incident. But in her first interview with Western media, she has denied making any allegation, insisting there had been a huge misunderstanding. Peng spoke to French newspaper L'Equipe in Beijing, while the International Olympic Committee has also confirmed that she held a face-to-face -face meeting with their president, Thomas Bach. Concern over Peng's well-being began to grow in November when she made claims of sexual assault against former Chinese Vice Premier Zhang Guali on social media, and the post went viral before it was subsequently deleted. She was not seen in public for weeks afterwards, prompting Serena Williams and Naomi Osaka to express their concern using the hashtag Where is Peng Shui? Peng insists she has been unaware that she has become a global news story and denies making any accusation of sexual assault. So this is what Peng told L'Equipe. The newspaper said they agreed to submit questions in advance and publish her responses without commentary. She said, I never said anyone had sexually assaulted me in any way. There was a huge misunderstanding in the outside world following this post. I don't want the meaning of this post to be twisted anymore. And I don't want any further media hype around it. I never disappeared. Everyone could see me. I never disappeared. It's just that many people, like my friends or people from the IOC, messaged me and it was simply impossible to answer so many messages. But I've been always in close contact with my friends. The interview was conducted in Chinese and translated into English by a Chinese Olympic official during the interview, as well as an interpreter based in Paris, said the newspaper. Well, to get more on this, we can go live now to Tom Cheshire, who's in Beijing for us. Tom, we weren't expecting this interview with Lekeep from Peng Shui, and there's been more on this story since those quotes, hasn't there? Yeah, morning. Um, we were expecting at some point during this Olympics to see Peng Shui. This is a controversial Olympics for many reasons. Peng Shui is one of the reasons for those controversies. Uh, but Thomas Buck had already said that he had planned to meet her. We've got confirmation now um, that he met her. This Lakeep, the interview is a surprise, though. The first interview, as you say, with Western media. And she repeats that um, denial that she accused Zhang Gaoli of sexual assault. Now, what's interesting here is that, I mean, I think these two versions of events can go coexist. She has made this denial before, but what she wrote in that original post, a way the one that was swiftly scrubbed uh, from the internet, she said that Zhang Gao Li forced her into sex um, or compelled her or pressured her. Now, she's saying she didn't accuse uh, anyone of sexual assault, and that might, uh, she's using a different term in Chinese there. It's understood perhaps a bit differently there. Sadly, there wasn't any pushback from the interviews in Le Keep to try and go further to understand that meaning. Um, Peng Shui also also said that she deleted that Weibo post herself and that she'd been living a normal life since then. Now, there are obviously concerns. This is a country that has a long history, a notable history of broadcasting uh, forced confessions. It's also notable that during that interview, as you mentioned, questions had to be submitted in advance and it was conducted in the presence of a Chinese Olympic Committee official, uh, which seems perhaps a bit unusual. So that question of whether she's speaking under duress has come up. It was one that was put to the IOC spokesperson Person, uh, earlier at a press conference today. Here's what he said. I don't think it's a judgment for the IOC to make. Uh, we are a sporting organisation and uh, our job is to uh, remain in contact with her and as we've explained in the past, uh, to carry out personal uh, quiet diplomacy, to keep in touch with her as we've done, to meet her in person as we've done uh, and now invite her to Lausanne to see us. Uh, she had a long conversation with Kirsty Coventry yesterday, uh, yesterday, I think, at the curling the day before. Um, so we, as a sports organisation, are doing everything to ensure um, that she uh, is happy. And I don't think it's up for us to be able to judge uh, in one way, just as it's not for you to judge either in one way or another her position. There have been different attitudes from different sporting bodies. The IOC talking about the quiet diplomacy it thinks is the best uh, thing to achieve Peng Shui's safety. But then you have the Women's Tennis Association who have been very vocal from the beginning of this saga. They immediately called for an investigation into those allegations. Uh, sorry, the light is just flicking on and off. Uh, we haven't heard from them yet. On
on this, but they will, I'm sure, have something to say. They haven't been convinced all the way through, um, so we'll see what they have to say. But there is still a lot of concern. Each one of these appearances by Peng Shui adds a bit more detail, but it also raises more questions really than it answers.